Hi guys, in this video I just wanted to show you the tool I use to be able to compress all my images for my Shopify website. Um, so I found this tool and I use it often because it's quite quick and easy. Um, it doesn't ask me to sign up for anything and I can just go to this website and I can do a batch upload of all the pics that I've received from the photographer and it will resize all those images for me so that I can um, load them onto the website. So the website's name is called bulkresizephotos.com and I've received my photos from the photographer today. So if I go in over here I'll just extract that they are quite big because um, they were taken professionally with a professional camera Let me just go in over there you can see the size of it's around 2 megs for each photo so all I'll do is come over here, minimize it, and I will drag and drop this entire folder in here. Let me just do this again. Let me just try to take this and instead of the folder, just taking images on its own. 90 images over there that I can just drag and drop and the file size that we're looking for is around 200 kilobytes this is like the, the ideal size for your online store uh, it maintains a decent um, image quality while still um, being small in size so that you don't um, affect your SEO in any way negatively too negatively so we can select that and we'll make it around 200 kilobytes and we'll say start and then it will go ahead and process all those images and reduce the size of it so that when you do upload it onto your Shopify website or other e-commerce website the size will be uh, ideal for your website and for SEO just waiting for it to complete it is fairly quick doesn't take too long probably like a minute for about 90 photos which isn't bad it's quite fast and I mean this, the word, this way of doing it is it's just so quick and easy um, I know there's a lot of tools out there that you have to do it one by one and it can sometimes take forever So it's almost done I'll leave a link below to this website um, in case any of you guys want to try it out and if you did find this um, video helpful in any way I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and it's done let's just go have a look it was 171 megabytes before and after 16.9 megabytes let's have a look at that if we go into it so now we can see all our photos are under 200 kilobytes 
you can have a look at the size of it and yeah image quality is still good so that's it thank you guys until next time bye